Welcome back. Today I bring to you the Polo GTI and the BMW 3 Series M Sport. In today's video, I'll be comparing the performance of these two cars, the Polo GTI and the BMW 3 Series M Sport. And this comes after a comment by Lucky Bafana Mashangu who actually shared that he'll rather buy the Polo GTI instead of the 3 Series because it does wonders in terms of performance. And yes, I did agree with him because if you're looking for performance, the Polo GTI is the one that makes sense. And it also makes financial sense, by the way. Although the 3 Series does make sense when it comes to practicality because it has got a lot of space as compared to the Polo GTI. But if you are not a family man and you still live alone, you are just a young man and you are looking for performance, you want to enjoy the right quality of your car, the Polo GTI is the one that makes sense. So I'm going to start with the Polo GTI. It is powered by a 2 liter turbocharged petrol engine and that produces 147 kilowatts of power and 320 newton meters of torque the three series is also powered by a two liter turbocharged petrol engine which produces 135 kilowatts of power and 300 newton meters of torque in terms of power and torque the polo gti produces 147 kilowatts and 320 newton meters and the bmw 3 series produces 135 kilowatts and 300 newton meters of torque so you can see the difference there in numbers and numbers don't lie by the way and this simply means the polo gti is more powerful as compared to the 3 series this will simply mean that the polo gti is more quicker than the 3 series it can move from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 6.7 seconds while the 3 series m sport can move from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 7.4 seconds Quite a huge difference in time there. One other thing is that the Polo GTI is a front wheel drive while the 3 Series M Sport is a rear wheel drive. I guess you guys can see the differences in the figures that I had projected here and now you can tell which one is the beast in terms of performance. This is not to say that the BMW 3 Series is a bad car to buy, it's still a good car. However, if you are looking for the best performance at the lowest price, you can just opt for the Polo GTI. The maximum top speed of the Polo GTI is 238 kilometers per hour and for the 3 series is 235 kilometers per hour. So there is not much difference there. In terms of pricing, which is important in determining which one is best to buy between these two cars, the Polo GTI is priced at 550,900 rands, while the BMW 3 series is priced at 913,731 rands. Quite a huge difference, by the way. Well, in this regard, there is a car that is almost half a million, and there is one that is almost a million. And the one that is almost half a million is actually way much better than the one that is closer to a million. Which one would you buy? And if it was for me, I would still take the BMW Tracers. Don't ask me why. <laughs> Yes, I'm being very honest with you, and if you wanted me to provide reasons for that, I'll simply tell you the difference in power between the two cars is only 12 kilowatts. Remember, we don't buy cars for racing, but for comfort, ride quality, as well as practicality. Age, but you must not neglect the performance of the car, but in this regard, 135 kilowatts of power and a 12 kilowatts difference doesn't really make a huge difference for me. You can still do what the Polo GTI does with the BMW 3 Series. Tell us in the comment section which car would you take between the Polo GTI and the BMW 3 Series M Sport. Ladies and gentlemen, from me to you, I'm Temba. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not subscribed and thanks to those that have already subscribed. So the next video that I'm uploading, it's a Corolla review. Stay tuned for that.